everybody okay so let me show you the picture we're going to be working with today so there it is do you see that picture right there this was sent to me by smitten kitten and um, it's a really cool I would say late 1950s early 1960s hairstyle it's a very high volume short haircut I have tried a couple times to recreate this and I'm gonna do the best I can for you guys today um, first of all because it is a very high volume hairstyle and it's an illustration it's a little tricky because I just don't have a lot of hair um, but you can use teasing and some tricks to try to give yourself a more voluminous look and then second of all my hair is just a wee bit too short to do this properly so I would say my hair comes to about right here on the sides and I would need my sides to come a little bit below my chin so if your hair hovers more in this region this is gonna be a very easy style for you also um, if the set looks crazy it's because it is a little bit and it's not that it's a difficult set it's that I needed rollers that were an inch to an inch and a half in diameter and I don't have a lot of those so I ended up making do with velcro rollers a couple flex rods and then two sponge rollers but if you have enough rollers of the right size you don't have to do this crazy piecemeal thing also with my hair being short velcro rollers are grabbing it just a little bit better okay so I sectioned off my hair into a mohawk section through the top basically dividing my hair from the front of my head to the back of the head using the ears as a separation point then if you see in the picture she's got a little bang she's got a bang but it's like a split bang so half of it's kind of going this way and half of it's going this way so I rolled my bang with a little split do you see that so this is all going under and forward and this is going under and forward this is going for rolled forward this is rolled forward um, the sides are rolled under and the back is all rolled under I uh, did this on dry hair and I spritzed my roots with Big Sexy Hair Root Pump, which I got as a sample and I really like and I need to use it more often. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Oh wait, one more. Do you see this roller right here? This is kind of in a funky part, so it's a little bit deeper than my normal side part and it's right behind that second roller of the bangs. This is rolling in towards the center of my head. So rolling under this way. Um, and that is to get that big swoop that's in the picture. So yeah, see, you see how it has that big swoop that happens? This will hopefully make that work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these down. And I did roll this on dry hair, but I just spritzed the ends so that it would be easier to get the ends to stick to the roller. Okay, so I think I've gotten everything out now. I'm breaking that up a little bit with my hands. Oh, I found another roller. Okay, so, like I said, I use that volumizing stuff so my hair is a bit more voluminous than normal. I'm gonna start brushing it to one side. This is a Denman styling brush. basically just brushing everything back now once I brushed it to one side now I'm brushing it off the face and now we can start doing what it takes to get this to look the way it should so the way I do this is I'm handling this in sections so let's see okay I need to do the big swoop 
I need a bang piece that's gonna come down. So I'm brushing this towards my face. Got my little bang. And I'm gonna deal with the top in sections. So I'm gonna use my other bangs and get those down in there. They're kind of ending up being side bangs. And I'm going to deal with that in a second. So I'm going to take the front and curve that around my fingers. So the sides kind of look the way we want them to. When I start liking the way something looks, I'm going to spray it with a flexible hold hairspray. So I'm spraying the sides so they stay. Taking my little teasing brush because it's got boar bristles and using that to further smooth things out. On the heavy side of the part, there's a little bit more of a waved texture through that part. So the side's looking more like this. See that? Okay. Now, through the top of the hair, I've got my little split bang. I'm going to take some pomade and get it on my hands. And I've got that little side bang part that kind of swoops out. And then swooping the bangs kind of over. And now we've got to control this top area. So I'm getting some pomade on there as best I can. I'm going to take my teasing comb and I'm going to back comb this just gently. There we go. So that we got that. And I'm going to start smoothing over the top. But we've got that back combing in there, so we've got a little bit of a cushion. It looks like it goes this way and then puffs out. It's always hard when you're doing this from like a, um, a illustration because, you know, in the picture they can have whatever kind of hair they want because someone's drawing it in. So that's a little bit tricky, but I feel like we're getting closer. Don't be afraid to go pretty deep with where it starts coming over on the side. So it goes and then down.
yeah, the top of my hair is just not quite long enough to do it absolute perfect justice, but I'm going to go ahead and spray it because I like what we're starting here. A little bit of separation in that bang. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe we need to. I'm poofing up the side a little bit over here, the small side, just so it's a little bit more balanced. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is pretty close. Um, here, this is the picture. This is my hair. I don't know, I think we're getting there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the back because there is, I don't have a picture of the back, so I just have to kind of do what I can with that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, if your hair was a little bit longer, my layers at the top really need to be closer to about seven inches for this to be perfect. But, you know, you do what you can with the hair you have. So yeah, I guess that is, that's that. I think that, like I said, if your hair was a little bit longer all over than mine, this would work pretty much perfectly and that's how you kind of want to treat it when you're brushing it out. So there we go. Here is the front. Here's the side the back and the other side I need to make sure it keeps covering my ear I'm a little short through the through the ears but yeah so there we go spit and kitten I hope that this was helpful I hope that this came out at least somewhat like the picture thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye